Former U.S. Attorney Bill McSwain from Philly, a Republican who announced for governor yesterday, spent his very first day on the campaign trail today in Pittsburgh. He talked with political editor John Delano about why he thinks he should be the next governor. Republican Bill McSwain is not well known yet in western Pennsylvania, which explains why he campaigned on the south side, invoking his marine background in a region known for its veterans. We have a motto in the Marine Corps, Semper Fi. It means always faithful. Semper Fi, Pennsylvania, and Semper Fi, Pittsburgh. You can count on me to be faithful to you, always. The Ivy League lawyer and native of Westchester outside Philadelphia says his focus is to create economic and educational opportunity. But the former federal prosecutor is best known for his tough stance against crime and violence from protests in the streets. I put rioters, looters, and arsonists in jail who tried to destroy Philadelphia last summer. In my opinion, people who torch police cars and throw Molotov cocktails in front of City Hall, these are not heroes. These are criminals to be prosecuted. In an interview with me, McSwain condemned what he calls a culture of lawlessness and disrespect for police. And he says it's a problem in Pittsburgh and many urban areas that has led to more shootings than ever. Much of the problem is because of a lack of support for the police by our public officials and by our elected officials. What I did as U.S. attorney is I made it very clear that I stood with law enforcement, I stood with the police, and I was going to have their back. McSwain says as governor, he will boost funding, not cut it, for local police in the neighborhood. They need to be on their toes. They need to be proactive. They need to be in the community doing the things to keep the community safe. And when they're unfairly criticized and when they're not supported by public officials, they're on their heels. And when they're on their heels, crime spikes. Coming up at six, I asked the Republican about his views on abortion and mask mandates and whether Donald Trump really beat Joe Biden as Trump insists. John Delano, KDKA News.